Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Excel video today. It's going to be a short video. What I want to figure out is I've got countries listed in column A, and I also have countries listed in column B. Are they the same? And then the next question is, are they the same using case sensitivity? And then finally, I'm going to show you not just how to compare it twice, but what happens if you have, as an example, France listed three times or four times or five times, how to handle that one. So here we go with the real easy one. I'm in cell C2. Is the value in A2 equal to the value in cell B2? That's going to be simply equals A2 equals B2. It's either going to be true or false, and I get true. Crosshairs, just double click or drag down. True, true, true all the way. One thing you need to know, and I've showed this before, if by chance I'm on the country Spain and I put a space bar after it, so now that should go to false. If you're starting to get those, the function to fix these is the trim function. Oops, my bad. Equals trim B2, crosshairs. The trim function will get rid of all those extra spaces. And then after you copy, you want to do a paste values. And I went from false to true. I'm going to undo one time, false, redo, true. So there's that. Actually, that's a bonus one. Now, the second item, so equals A2 equals B2, true or false. I want to know about case sensitivity, though. So there is an effect. There's a function called exact equals EXACT. Notice though that it'll only compare two values. It even says that in the description there. And it's going to return true or false, but it is case sensitive. So equals exact. Text one is cell A2, comma. Text two is cell B2. Just so you know this, if I do a comma, there is no text three because it even said it's only going to do two. That's why there is no text three. So I should get for United States, I should get a true. I intentionally did this. Uh, I'm going to stop right here on United Kingdom. I got a false because I intentionally made in column B the K in kingdom lowercase. Here we go. You can see that Spain, I intentionally messed up. Germany, at the very end, has got a Y that's capitalized. And India's all caps in cell B7. So there's that function. Bonus time. Here we go. I'm going to pick on France. Let's do a copy. And paste. And paste again. Now I want to know if France is equal so if you recall, we started off just doing equals A2 equals B2. This is not going to work here. Equals A15. It's not going to work. False. When we know it's true. Because you can't do more than two with the equals A2 equals B2 as an example. Two is it. So to get around that, we're going to do equals and. Highlight all of them equals, I'm going to pick one. I'm going to probably pick the first one. So equals and A15 through D15 equals A15. I should get a true here. And I do. Now, if I change this one to France all caps, again, I'm still going to get true. But if you want this one to say, no, I'm worried about case sensitivity, recall I can't use exact because exact will only do two. Again, it says it right there. So let's mix the and and exact. Exact's got two arguments. There's the first one, comma. So equals and exact, the range, comma, again, I picked the first cell. I should get a false here because the third France is all caps, and I do. But if I change it, true. There you go. 
I said I was going to make a short video, and here, are, here I am at five minutes. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Let me know if you have any comments or questions about this video, and feel free to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.